Okay, then. Uh, Jirabo, your hand is up. You want to say something as we wait for the rest to join us? Yes, teacher. Say okay, it. Len. I'm not seeing my marks on the paper. Uh, I have marked so far half of you. I've marked about 78 to 80 students. So you could be among those. Did I give you back without you without marks? Did I return your paper? No, my I when I've gone on the Google Classroom, I've just seen turned in, but I've not seen where the marks are. Okay, I'm yet to return. Just give me by the end of today after this lesson, I'll resume my marking. I will be able to finish. I was a little taken up during the course of the week. It's fine, teacher. All right. So today we have a parents meeting. We shall expect your parents to be online and yourselves to be online. We want to be able to share with you and also let you know about other things that are coming up. So I'm asking all of us here today to make sure that we inform our parents, those who are around. And for those whose parents might not be there at home, ask them to log in wherever they are. They can be able to access the meeting. So that is why, that is one of the things I'll be communicating throughout this, throughout this passage. I mean, throughout this session or lesson that we shall have today. Okay, so we, we, we had an exam. Uh, and some of us, I know in primary, your teachers had taught you different kinds of letters, but this was more than a letter. I was trying to examine other aspects. So this was the question I, I gave us. And I wanted you to be able to integrate all the things we had looked at. That is the issue of activities, community-based activities. I also wanted you to, to talk about environment you know, the effects of pollution on the environment. And then I also expected my students to be able to write for me a letter. So I wanted you to write the letter, but handling the other things we looked at. Perhaps after the, in the next program, I shall be able to share with you some other things uh, about especially uh, the effects. Maybe I did not make that one clear last time. I also realized that when we're handling it, some of us did not really realize that we're handling a sensitive issue. Environmental degradation is a very sensitive issue. So we shall look at it today. So our question is here. I was hoping to wait for about maybe 100 students to join so that I'm not disturbed over and over. So maybe let me ask before I give in my own opinions. For those who received their papers, uh, the ones that I turned back, you know, I'm sure you have some complaints here and there. I shall be able to hear them out. However, I want to make other general comments. The first comment is most of you, or rather some of you, are submitting half a page or just one side of it. So when you're scanning and taking a photograph, I want you to stand in such a position that you capture everything. So there are those also who submitted no work. They, they submitted empty work. I do not know what that meant or you, you, you stubbornly did that. Then I also realized most of you did not do. You know, if I was to share with you how many submitted out of about 500 or so students, only 140 something submitted. So I felt maybe students are not very interested in exams now. In, in our education system now, maybe apart from you now, uh, examinations are part of the education because you will be examined. And the more you get familiar with this kind of work, the easier it is for you to handle other types of work. So when you're given an assignment, don't look at it as a problem. Let it be a challenge. A difference between a problem and a challenge is that a challenge wakes you up to think, to seek for solutions. And yet a problem is an inconvenience. Don't look at it as an inconvenience. So most of you looked at this exercise as an inconvenience. And therefore, because maybe I have never physically met you or because you do not really care. I don't know which one is real or because you know maybe my follow-up will not involve sticks. But at your level, if I'm to jog your memory very well, 
roughly right now the average age in this class is about 14 to 15 14 years now you've upgraded from 12 years to 15 it means you're growing towards maturity maturity is designated or it is underlined by what we call responsibility so i'm going to ask you students to be responsible enough if you begin shunning away or or running away from assignments. That means even tomorrow, you will not be able to solve your smallest of a problem. You'll want someone to help you. So let us be very inquisitive. Let us want to learn. Let us show interest. For us teachers, we are simply here to guide you. Make it easy for us, and we shall also make it easy for you to do this work. So that is what I felt like communicating before I started or before I start my my session so students endeavor so much to do assignments let us not just look at it as a pastime but let this be an engaging platform there are very many students out there who are not getting into this platform they have never and for you might think that is a better deal but trust me the best is keeping your brain engaged and active when you go back to school, you'll be very, very different from the other students. All right, enough of, enough of my parent talk, and I hope you've understood that. So this is the question I have. Can I have at least one person read for us this question? Then I ask you for your interpretation. What did you think about this uh, activity of integration? If I'm to look at the hands here, Katono, Katono, can you be able to, to read for us? Yes, teacher. Please do. Your mother has sent you to the market and you found a pile of garbage rotting in the market thrown everywhere. As a concerned community member, write a letter to the rest responsible authorities in charge of the market, informing them of the situation at the market and how you're willing to help. Okay. Should have been an apostrophe there to show possession. Now let us discuss our question. Remember, this is an activity of integration. I remember teaching you roles of people in the community, things that we do communally and then individual activities but also I also told you about pollution. So these are the things that I, were, I was integrating. But now I want you to interpret for me, what do you think this question desires? What was supposed to be the approach? Doctor, good morning to you too. I've seen your message, thank you so much. Yes, can we have an interpreter for us? Nakato, do you mind? What do you think this question needed? Yes, Nakato. Yes, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, Nakato. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. <clears throat> teacher, I think this lesson we were supposed to show that about we were supposed to say that we are also go, that I myself I was also going to be among those people who will help in cleaning the environment. Mm. And uh, and I think I I was supposed to inform also that the person, the people in charge, responsible, the authority mm. responsible. But I would say I would I would use I would inform the chair the chairman. Mm. And yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, that is that is part of it. Any other person? I want to hear your different interpretations. I want to hear different interpretations before I give in my own. Uh, Dr. Elizabeth, you had a question. Is it direct to my inbox? So it is for everyone. <clears throat> Elizabeth? Is your question for everyone? Or... Teacher. Good. Good morning, Elizabeth. How are you? Yes, teacher. Good morning. Good morning to you, Elizabeth. How are you? For everyone. 
Okay, do ask. Okay. So I want to ask on that later, Nadi. Teacher. Hmm. We're listening. We're on listening. that letter, Nadi didn't give us the address. Now that was supposed to be. Remember the last time we looked at. They uh, didn't give us the address on that. <sighs> I'm trying to explain to you. Can you can, are you hearing me? Can you hear me? Teacher, let me explain. Oh, oh someone wants to help me? Yes, me, Nakat. Yes. Okay, Naka. Yes, teacher. For me, I say that since they had not given us the addresses address, we mm. were supposed to create our own address. Thank you. Because all of us come from different areas. Yes. Are we together? So, uh, is it Nakato? Uh, not Nakato. Teacher. Um, yes? Teacher. Yes? Now we should write the address of our school. Um, you can choose to do that, but that is crumb work. You can write your village or Nakawa. If, if you're from Nakawa, Use the address of Nakawa sub county. Are we together? You can use the address of your region. Are we together? Yes. Okay, yes. Let us not let us not cram that we must use the address of our school only, but let us choose because this is an open question. It's outside school, so there is no need for. If I had, if the question was, write a letter to inform your head teacher about the situation at the canteen. That is when you would say maybe the canteen is dirty, but the address would be to the head teacher, which would be the school address. <clears throat> but this particular address is an open one to your region where you come from. Are we together? So let us okay, not limit. You. Uh, li You're welcome. Let's not be limited there. Okay. Some people's hands are still up. Nakato, I think for you, you finished speaking. I can mute, I can mute you. Yes, teacher. It's okay. All right. Let me let me get other interpretations from other students. Eric, Eric, your hand is up. Let's share. Okay, it seems Eric is hand is automatically up. Okay, he's there now. Yes, Eka. I beg your pardon. Yes, so the first thing the question is asking us is to write a letter. So what we are writing today is a letter. What does that letter contain? That is my next question. Aboki, Maria, is that Aboki? Aboki has a concern. Let me first check out for Pauline. Teacher, can you write... The one for your family. As long as your, your home has an address, are we together? You can use that address. First, want an address as long as, because the whole point of, of, of having an address is for someone to be able to send back the letter. Namirembe, what does this letter contain? What should it have? Okay, Namirembe has feared. She has run away. Chirabo, you have a question? Please ask your question very fast. Excuse me, teacher. You're excused. I think that since they are, since they are telling us to write a letter and, and like we are supposed to use our address, mm. I think that we are supposed to use like two addresses. Since we are going to write, since we're writing, well, we, the, the first address should be where we live in that area and the second address i think it should be like going to the saying that like to the chairperson or c3 requesting like for yourself then what then write your application requesting for permission to clean the environment every saturdays i think mm, well, that, that is that is actually very good you've helped us to look at the format of the letter <clears throat> which i was going to come to uh, after after this, because what is it? What I've also realized you're failing, or 
you still have the primary format of writing a letter. So I'm going to help to bring you to the new, to the new way of writing the address. I mean, writing a letter. In secondary, we follow a certain format. And today we are going to look at that format. So yes, it has two addresses. So that means today I will also teach you the difference between a friendly letter and a formal letter. And for this question, what was supposed to be written? Some of you wrote friendly letters. I don't know how friendly you are to the RIDC of your school, uh, of your of village, or of your yeah. uh, district. So I noticed most of us had no idea when it comes to, when it comes to the format of letters. Chirabo, you were saying something before I took you off? Chirabo, yes? Chirabo, you can put up your hand. While we receive Chirabo, let me have... Nakato, again, your hand is up. <coughs> Teacher. Yes? You are saying that what are the things this this letter should have yes now we're talking about what is that you're going to write to him about teacher i think i should have i should have a reference huh. now in 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 primary is, is that what the teachers told you that it's supposed to be a reference since teacher it's an informal letter it, oh this is not an informal letter nakato it is actually a formal letter. Mm, yes, teacher. We shall correct that. It's okay. I'll add more to it. Thank you for sharing. Let uh, Same hands are here. Let me have affection. <clears throat> affection. Some of you should write your real names. Is affection a real name? Yes, teacher. Yeah, hey, your affection. Okay. So I think the letter should have a date. Mm. I'm talking about the things, your concerns when you're writing to him, those concerns, which are those you're going to present to that, that man you're writing to or that woman you're writing to. Um, that there are piles of garbage heaped around the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that it could be a health risk to market goers. Mm. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's a good one. Um, Kasuti Naolin. Kasuti Naolin. Naolin, your hand is up. Yes, Nolin. Yes, Nolin. You're coming off and on. Okay, seems she has a problem with her network. Alex Irumba. I think the letter must have the, the writer's address, mm. the date. Uh, the receiver's address, the salutation, uh, the reference, the body, complementary chorus, the signature, and the writer's name. Now, in the body, we are supposed mm. to write about, uh, first of all, we shall first read the, the receiver of the letter. Are you sure? About, Alex. There is, in a formal letter, we greet. Alex, in a formal letter, we, what, what are we greeting about? What, what, what? You started very well. I like the fact that you've given me the entire format, but now I realize you also need help when it comes to the introduction of the body. You will allow me to help you correct that. Is that okay? Yes. All right, but the, the rest are okay. Now, the other task is where do you put those things and how do you put those things you have mentioned? I am going to display my screen more here to show you. Thank you so much for sharing. You've given us the entire letter. 
but we shall also, I'm now going to show you the position because most of us did not know where to put those things. Angela, Mary Angela, let me hear from you. Straight our address. Then mm. if we know that Chapasoni's address, we should write that one. Mm. Middleton, mm. body, um, I didn't hear the last bit, network cut. Teacher, we write, we write our address. We write mm -hmm. the chapter, we write the reference and the body after we write the conclusion. Okay, I think most of us have the idea, but now I want to upgrade us. Let us now upgrade to, let us upgrade to secondary format. I know I respect your primary teachers. I respect what they did for you. But now I also want to introduce you to our level. Now you are big people. Academically, you've grown. So I want to show you a format that you should follow at your level. So my slides that I prepared for you today. Oh, sorry. Just a minute. So I got to know that as students, we might have issues with knowing the types of letters. So can I begin by asking us here, do you know the two types of letters? Yes, Shadik, what are the two types of letters you know? Yes, Shadik? A formal letter. A formal letter and? An informal letter. Also, what, what else do you call an informal letter? Any other name for informal letter? Okay, Elizabeth, ask your question very fast. You, you should give others chance as well. So you ask your question, then you leave others also to ask. Elizabeth, very fast. Elizabeth? Could you ask your question very fast? Okay, like I was trying to inquire if like the, the our address is what if I write my address on the right hand, then the then the person, the receiver's address, I write it on the left. Is it correct? Now that is exactly the next level I'm going to. That's why I'm asking for the different types of letters. I'm going, I'm about to show you that in the next few minutes. Is that okay? Okay, so they've already told us that we have a formal letter and an informal letter. Informal letter is also known as the friendly letter. Then the formal letter is also known as the business letter. That one is a serious letter. For example, when you're writing a formal letter, a formal letter should and must contain two addresses. So I, I tried to summarize some of those things here. What does the question want? This is what I expected of the learners. The question expects the learners to write a letter in brackets, a formal, formal letter. Should then create different addresses. The, that is his or her address and that of the authorities. Inform the teachers, inform the teacher the name of the market that is in your address. Describe the market and how the rubbish is poorly thrown in everywhere. These ones, we shall come back to them. I want to, I'm very interested in the first two, a letter. So it takes me to the two types of letters. What are those two types of letters? We have already mentioned them that we have formal and informal. What is common in these letters? All of them, we have uh, the address, the date, salutation, and the body. And then also I missed out conclusion here. C should be conclusion. So today we want to look at them. What do they look like when they have been displayed? So the body has an introduction, actual content and conclusion. Yes, I put it down here. 
So this is what is in a letter. These are the common aspects that are found in, in a letter. But we have two types of letters that you already know. I'm just refreshing your memory. I have said the formal letter is also known as the business letter. That business letter is a serious letter. You write in letters of, for example, letters of application, a letter of apology, uh, a request, uh, all those are serious letters. So therefore, when we are writing those letters, we follow a certain format, a layout, how it should look like. That's what today I want to show you. But the common aspects in all letters is this that I have put here and then that. So as learners, I expect you to know up to this level. But my interest today, uh, this is what I'm interested in. So do you see this? Those whose hands are up, please first lower your hands. You cannot have just joined and you want the teacher to repeat everything for you. Today we are looking at corrections. There is no way I can repeat for you the last 30 minutes. I will definitely be disorganizing the people. But a recap, we are looking at uh, letters. We are correcting our question and we said the question asked us to write a letter. So we are looking at what kind of letter were, were we asked to write? And we all agreed that it's a formal letter. This formal letter has a layout. This is what it looks like. So I tried creating my own address. I am from Buriti Village, PO Box 52, Kamese. Perhaps that is the region or district. The dead 26th. Now, this is where my concern is. Let me see if I can. Do you see the way my address is written? It is written in what we call indented or slanted. Buriti is not in the same line with the PO box and is not in the same line with Kamese. So it is written in such a way that it is slanted or indented. This is the writer's address. Are we together? You write it in such a way it is slanted. The date is not part of the address. So the date comes back 26. Don't you see that 26 is in the same line with Buriti starting up there? Because now that one is beginning a new line. Are we together? So you write it. This is what we call indented paragraphing or in slanted. That is how we we write the writer's address. This is now, these days it's unfortunate that we teach according to UNEB. So I am teaching you the UNEB format, or oh, this is how we, now this is how we write it in secondary. Whatever your teacher told you is, is true, that different, different, for example, outside school, the other, there are companies that use a different format, but for us today, we are interested in this format. This is how we are supposed to write our, our address. This is the writer's address. However, the, the person you're writing to, his is written in the block line or in a block format. You don't slant. You write everything in the same line. <coughs> Sorry about that. So you write everything in the same line. Those who are skipping lines, we do not skip lines. We do not skip lines. Can someone ask a question up to this point about the addresses only? I only expect questions on addresses only. Uh, Davis Alojas. Davis Alojas. Yes, Davis, your hand is up. Yes, Alojas. Okay. 
Aloysius, you can simply write your comments. I would be able to hear you out. Bati. Yes. Can, can you, can't you just use one address? Now that is where you, have you just joined us? Yes. Now, if you've just joined us, that is where the problem is. We have said a formulator has two addresses. That is the difference between a formulator and an informulator. Here, the person you're writing to is not your friend. This is a serious letter. So you're going to have to write two addresses. Are we together? This is not your friend. It yes. is an inform and it's an informal letter which has one address. But this is a formal letter. It should have two addresses. Uh, someone is asking uh, about, now, we do not write the dates. I mean, we do not write um, two things I want to comment. One, we do not write them in capital letters. Let us not write them in capital letters. I don't know. Whose microphone is on? You're in a very noisy place. Alojas, can you mute your microphone? Okay. So as I was still explaining to you, we do not write them in capital letters. We write them in the lower case. Teacher, after the dead, when are we about, when we're about to write second address, do we skip it? No. Now, in this letter, or the formal letter, or in letter writing, or in literature and, and English, we do not skip lines. The only recommended time you can skip a line is between the date and the first address. That is the writer's address. However, it is not a must. It is not a must. It is optional. The rest, we do not skip lines. We also do not write the address in capital letters. Now, this is, where, <laughs> this is where most of you start saying, but teacher, my primary teacher told me, I am going to ask you to slightly forget about your primary teachers. That's why they promoted you to me. Now I have you, now you are my students. Don't tell me my primary teacher told me. I am also now telling you that these are the changes as you go to secondary. Are we together? Just like you have now very many subjects. Apart from science and, and math, now we have so many science subjects. So let us adjust accordingly. Let us not be rigid. So I want to continue. Another question is, teacher, do you mean that even after writing the first address, we, should, we shouldn't jump the line? It is not a must for you to jump the line, Rusty. It is optional. Like me, I did not, I did not jump it. And my work is still neat. There is no problem. It is the only line you can skip. However, it is optional. Teacher, you said we don't skip lines, but dear sir, and the reference. First of all, it's not called the reference. I am coming there. I wanted us to ask questions strictly under uh, the two addresses. And I have said the first address is written in an indented format or slanted format. And then after that address, you write the date. The, that date is for writing, that, uh, for writing the letter. Today is 26th. So me, mine, I wrote today and I have put 26th. The second address is written in a block format. And I have showed you the, the block format. Everything is written in the same line. Dear sir is also, this is the salutation. Dear sir is on the same line with all the other letters. Now, Chidabo, I, I, I don't know. I am not dictating what you should do, but I'm giving you what we call the format. So if you're giving me your suggestions, you should also consider that there is, there is, yes, it's just a suggestion. But for me, I am giving you what is final or what is supposed to be. I am guiding you on how to organize your letter. So let us not be uh, big-headed or let us not be uh, resilient to accept change. I am giving you the options that are there that will make you pass. So let us be very keen when the teacher is helping us in that area. Rita, your hand is up. You want to ask a question? Yeah, I wanted to ask. Mm. Can you hear me, Tisha? Yes, I can hear you. 
when you are writing the reference, they told us to write it in the capital letters. My dear, it is not called a reference. That is the first thing. It is not a reference. The, what is the short form for the word reference? R E F. What are you seeing on the screen? R A E. Which is standing for reason. The reason you're writing this letter. A reference is usually found on top of the letter here. It is the name of. It is like the file number of a, of 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 of, a, of what of, of a of a report or a file number of a document. But here we do not. The R E does not stand for reference. The RE stands for reason. That's why R is in capital letters and E is in small letters. So that is how it's supposed to be written that the RE stands for reason, not reference. And it is not written in capital letters. Just the R is in capital and then the E is in small letters. It's followed by a full stop because you're writing a short form of something RE. Now, what you're writing there, for example, concern on, on the sanitation of Kamese market. That is my reason for writing to the, to the director. Also, avoid writing here to the director. Some of you like putting the word to the director here. Already this place means two. And where Buriti village means, the letter is coming from this side of Buriti going to the director. <laughs> So it does not, you don't need to put the word to, you don't need to write the word from. I hope that is clear as well. If your microphone is on, please mute. I am taking the next question. Uh, someone, please mute your microphone. Um, there was someone who had a question here. Teacher, should the greeting be on the left hand side? What greeting? I'm not talking about any greeting yet. Uh, teacher, you have written, okay, that's a mistake. 2020, it's supposed to be 2021. I just missed out the one. Uh, I think they, we should leave a, someone had a question. Um, okay, let me see who should I pick. Very fast, Mary Angela Immaculate. Teach. Yeah. Yeah, that yes. here eh, on mm. lit after mm. Kamese, should we skip a line between a date and Kamese? I, I said it, I said it is okay, it is optional, it's not a must. Yeah. Yes, Thank it is you. not, it is, yes, Chiravo, your, your, yes, Chiravo. Chiravo. Chiravo, I've, I've picked you and Make you're not it. talking. Uh-huh. Teacher. I'm getting you. Teacher, you hearing me? Yes. So after writing. Later. We have not yet reached there. Let us go in order. Okay. Uh, now, um, now, do you see my TH on 26? The TH should be in the same line with the date, with the, with the month and the year. Let's not put it to power. Three, those things of putting TH as a power. No, TH should be on the same line. Okay. Now, someone is saying they have not understood the block method. I have told you that the writer's address is in indented format. It is slanted. The block, as the word the block, you write it in such a way that you do not, you do not, you do not indent it. You leave every, all the words to start from the margin. That is what we call blocking. Like, for example, if you see the director is in the margin, Kamese Market, is in the margin, PO is in the margin, Kamese is in the margin. Now that's what we call the address written in a block format. Is that okay? That's what we call a block format. So the, the receiver's address is in a block format, the writer's address is in the indented format. Now, 
this is this is this is this is this is up to the point of reason you question. could yes if i have a question ask Teacher, please could you yes. use the paragraph what do you mean paragraph what do you mean the paragraph what is a paragraph Yes, what is the paragraph? Started writing the letter. But I've not reached there. That's where I'm going to. That's what our teacher told us in primary. When yes. Mm. When we're starting writing, the reason why you have written that letter. Yes. <coughs> Now, I, that's where I'm going to because I'm done with the addresses and I'm done with the reason. Now I okay. am going to the next part. Your paragraph, the first paragraph, what should it look like? In this, in this letter, are we together? In this letter, we are encouraged so much not to greet. This is a serious letter. So the first paragraph should be talking about the content or why you have written this letter. For example, in paragraph one, which is indented, you leave space from the margin. I'm going to show you another example I will share with you. That in, in this way, you're supposed to begin, have you seen where the RAE is? Below that RAE is where you start your paragraph. That's what we call indented paragraphing. We leave a margin, we leave some space about 1.5 to 2 centimeters from the margin. Then you begin writing from there. For example, you'd say, uh, I humbly write to you, sir, as a concerned community member about the sanitation of Kamese market, full stop. Now, that, you, that is your first paragraph, for example, that you have written. It should be written in what we call indented format. So whatever other paragraph you bring, it should be in the, written in an indented format. I'll be able to, somebody is asking, how do you measure the centimeters? I think it is just being reasonable. You can just be reasonable and you know that this space is enough. Like I have told you, I've recommended that let your first paragraph begin from the RRE somewhere here. If you begin from there, then you can be able to, to measure. I don't think that should really be an issue. Um, thank you, teacher. I have learned a new way. That's okay. Why do we put... Now, that's what we call a format. When it comes to slanting, the, 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 the format is the organization, how you organize, how you organize something. Are we together? I might not have a specific reason to tell you that, to slant does this, but that's what we call a format. And that format is usually dictated upon. We, we, these are already, they're like grammar rules. Are we together? It is a rule in grammar that this is supposed to be this and this is supposed to be that. For example, if you talk about concord in grammar, when we talk about pro, the boys are. So that is now the, the boys and the are definitely coordinate. There's no, there's, they, they, that's what we call concord. It is a rule in grammar. So even here we have a rule. Uh-huh. Now, oh, sorry, sorry. I've, someone has asked a very good question from Paul Usurwa. We do not say, dear sir or madam. We must strictly know the person we are writing to. So you choose the title of that person. You can never write to a person you do not know. And if you do not know the person you're writing to, then you must get to know the person before you write. So do not write, dear sir or madam. You must write only one title. It is either sir, and it stops there, or dear madam. So don't write, dear sir or madam. That is not allowed anymore because you must know the person you're writing to. People's hands are up. Is it the same concerns, Winnie, Mugabe? Yes, Winnie. So I was asking a question that if you don't know the villager. You are asking. 
you are asking you are not you are um i'm asking right now yes that... but when you when you tell me i was that means you do not want anymore no i want i was asking a question i am asking a question that what mm. if you don't have the address this po box what what can you do? then you are in trouble one how can you be in a village whose address you do not know that means you need to get to know well, that's what i'm trying to tell you you must know just like you must know who you're writing to so those assumptions are not even supposed to be there at this level of yours because you must have an address so you must be creative enough to formulate an address i am not going to verify if you're from that village i am not encouraging you to lie but i'm encouraging Yes, Jamila. Yes. Yes. Pardon. Uh huh. Is the district important? Is the district important? On on the address. Yes, I'm assuming my Kamesa is my district. For example, if I would say Buriti Village PO Box 53 Masaka or uh, Chitovu Masaka. So I can mention the exact sub-county or constituency and the district. I mean the constituency and the country. You know those things. So it is a must for you to put that it's important because that's, that's what we call an address. You are taking us to the nearest of your stay. Because after mentioning your village, the PO box, then you tell me the, the district. It is very important. Kampala, Uganda. Jinja, Uganda. So it is important. Okay. I am going Thank to... You. You're welcome. I'm not, going to, I'm not ignoring your hands, but I need to explain these things. Then I keep receiving questions later. I want to show you how you sign off. I am assuming we have written already the body. I did not want to give direct content, but we are going to outline the content we would expect in paragraph one, paragraph two, and the other paragraph. Uh, this, is, this is supposed to be on the left-hand side. Okay, let me... The, 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 the yours sincerely is supposed to be on your right hand side. I don't know how this came back this side. I typed it right. This is supposed to be on our right hand side. I'm going to edit it and correct it for you. It is supposed to be on your right hand, right hand side. It's supposed to be this way. Now, most of you, I was indicating this. It should be here. Are we together? That address, this thing should be here where I've shown you that, yours sincerely. Then after that, comma, then you sign. So it's supposed to be your signature. You must be able to come up with a signature. Those days, they used to encourage you to write your name in small letters. These days, we encourage that you must write it in, in capital. I mean, in, you must have a signature. You must be able to scribble a signature. So this signing off, yours sincerely, the complimentary clause and everything, this should be this should be this side on your right hand side the corner at the corner base here now most of you i put this in your work when i was directing you i expected this work to be this side this way is where i'm supposed to have your work not this other side <clears throat> so i don't know if that makes sense so let me just indicate for you uh pen this is supposed to be this way so write them here at the left hand right hand corner those are supposed to be there okay 
Uh, sorry about that. Now let me take hands very fast before I show you the other type of letter. Rita, Johanna has been up for some time. Yes, Rita. Yes, Rita, Johanna is up. Am I waiting for Rita's hand? Let me have another person who is ready to speak. Apart from Rita, can I have someone else? Uh, Natasha, Hannah and Tracy, Johanna has also been up for some time. Could you give us what you're thinking? Um, excuse me, teacher. Um, I was asking. Yes, you are I'm asking. asking. Yes. I'm asking that if, like, why don't I put the date on the left hand side, like just above the receiver's address? Up here. Yeah, let me, let me, just a minute. You mean, for example, you would like it uh, before, before the director? Yes. Uh, now, usually in a format, we organize it in such a way that. This is reflecting you. The date comes before the writer's address. Are we together? Yes. And si since you're the one writing the letter and it's, it is your date, we put it under your address. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, we put it under your, your address. That's what we would, would take. Teacher. Yes. Um, Natasha has a question. Okay, you're all attending to class at once, Natasha. Yes. Natasha, how do you write the body? You don't skip lines or you start some space after um, the want, match. I wanted to show you that using the other letter, that because I wanted to also to look at the informal letter very fast. So I wanted to show you the body of the informal letter. Then I I could be able to help you to to learn how to write the body. Can I do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Does Tracy have a question as well? No. Okay, so I'll take those. I'm going to help those ones very fast. Now, let me, for those whose hands are up, please, I apologize. Allow me yet again to take you somewhere else. Allow me to take you to another, another aspect that I wanted us to be able to share. That is the other type of letter. It, it is important for us to know. It will also help us to handle the it will also help us to handle uh, the, 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 the paragraphing in the body. Let me see here, screen. Um, I hope you will be able to share this. Okay, this is... Okay, this one, yes, I've gotten it. Are you able to see this one? Mm -hmm. Yes. The, you're not able to see something? I've just shared something on the screen. Nothing. Okay, just a minute. Let me share. Let me share screen. Start now. Are you seeing something now? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is what we call the informal letter. Do you see still the writer's address? There's only one address. It is slanted as well or indented. Then straight away, you write the date. The date is also below the writer's address. Then you come to salutation, dear John. Now, do you see this is what we call living a margin? or leaving space from the margin. Do you see where it's been very long since I last heard from you is? Do you see where it is? That 
this is one paragraph. It continues, I hope all is well. Now, that is one paragraph. So the first paragraph starts with living space on the margin. The next paragraph is, boy, that was a wonderful gift. Boy, that is a wonderful gift is just a paragraph alone. The second paragraph, how did you think about it? So you leave space from the, the margin. However, after when you write up to the other margin, when you come back this time around, you do not start from where the how is. You go back to the actual margin. This is what we call indented paragraph. We do not skip lines. I hope that makes sense. We do not skip lines. To me, I'm interested in the paragraphing here alone. I guess in the other lessons that we shall share, I will also be able to examine only this type of data. However, this is what we call indented paragraphing in the body. In the other letter, we do not, I repeat, we do not greet. Straight away, your first paragraph, you should tell us in a formal letter, you should be able to tell us that. Uh, maybe I, have, I, I humbly write this letter requesting for this and that. So let us follow that kind of format. Uh, teacher, today we shall have a general assembly. Yes, students, today we have a general assembly. It's for everyone. The parents should also attend. It's very important. The link has been shared on your WhatsApp. Let us all attend. Please let us all attend. Kalima, Jed, you said you had a question. Let me take the last questions. Uh, Kalima has already run away, though you had a question. Noelin, Noelin, your hand is up very fast. Atisha, you told us that you put sincere on the left hand side. Yes, you're sincere, side. yes. Mm. Then where should we put that signature? Below your sincerely, that space I left. You didn't see that oh. space? I tried, I tried signing. Immediately below your sincerely, you write the signature, you sign. Eh? Then you write your name in capital letters. And then after that, you can write what we call your, 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 your title. You can say concerned citizen or concerned community member. Are we together? Yes. Okay, others are saying my parents are not available. You attend the lesson, you attend the meeting, your parents, you will inform them what was mentioned. But most importantly, you should attend. Those whose parents are able must attend. Excuse me, teacher, can we please be added on the WhatsApp group? Mr. To, if you don't mind, please share for us the WhatsApp link here. WhatsApp group is full yes. now, but they can make use of Google Classroom. Oh. Okay, but then let's let's be in the Google Classroom because whatever I share here, I will also share in the Google Classroom. Once in a while, I come, I chat with you in the Google Classroom. If you, if you have any questions, I will always be there. Teacher, a question about the meeting. Drake, Taylor, ask your question, shoot. Yes, Drake. Your hand is not up, so how do I help you? Okay, the rest, I guess. Okay, let me take the prince himself. Daniel, the prince. Your hand is up and you're the last hand I'm taking because we're above time. Oh, okay. Teacher Otto has shared the link on the group. Let us follow that link. We shall be able to reach where we want. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. Um, I'm happy. Thank you so much for those who have been sharing. Hello. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.